Fast-moving Hurricane Helene is advancing across the Gulf of Mexico toward Florida, and it has been upgraded to a Category 2 storm. Western Cuba endured the slow passage of Hurricane Helene from Wednesday evening until Thursday. Families had to be evacuated in boats as water covered the streets and invaded homes. Authorities said Thursday that electricity services were severely affected as the storm moved away. In the province of Artemisa, about 160,000 out of 200,000 customers have been without electricity since Wednesday night. In the nearby province of Pinar del Rio, another 70,000 customers were reported without electricity. Local media said around 800 people living in flooded areas had to be evacuated. At Isla de la Juventud in the Caribbean Sea, the main dam had to be relieved of water to avoid overflowing. Havana experienced an uptick of wind and rain overnight without any damage. Helene is the eighth named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season, which began June 1st. Hurricane Helene swamped parts of Mexico on Wednesday as it churned on a path forecasters said would take it to Florida as a potentially catastrophic storm with a surge that could swallow entire homes, a chilling warning that sent residents scrambling for higher ground, closed schools, and led to states of emergency throughout the southeast. Helene Center was about 430 miles southwest of Tampa, Florida, the U.S. National Hurricane Center said and the hurricane was expected to intensify and accelerate as it crosses the Gulf of Mexico toward the Big Bend area of Florida's northwestern coast. Landfall was expected sometime Thursday evening, and the hurricane center said by then it could be a major category for storm with winds above 129 miles per hour. Tropical storm conditions were expected in southern Florida Wednesday night, spreading northward and encompassing the rest of Florida as well as Georgia and South Carolina through Thursday night. The storm was moving north at 12 miles per hour with top sustained winds of 85 miles per hour Wednesday evening. Helene could create a life-threatening storm surge as high as 20 feet in parts of the Big Bend region, forecasters said. Its tropical storm force winds extended as far as 345 miles from its center. The fast-moving storm's wind and rain also could penetrate far inland. The hurricane center posted hurricane warnings well into Georgia and tropical storm warnings as far north as North Carolina, and it warned that much of the southeast could experience prolonged power outages, toppled trees and dangerous flooding. Carabel, Florida resident Kenneth Griswold is taking note of the hurricane's size and power. This one here's got me a little bit more nervous than the others, I mean, for the extent of how wide and vast it is. I mean, 
It's not a little small storm like the others we've had here recently, he said. Northwest Florida residents could be seen buying emergency supplies at a Lowe's home improvement store in Live Oak. One shopper, Philip Lambert, said it's becoming a familiar routine. It's like a bad dream. Over and over. As soon as you get cleaned up from one storm, six months later you get hit again or eight months later you get hit again. So it's constantly picking up tree limbs, he said. Lowe's manager Alvaro Otero said the repeated storms that have pounded a region can take an emotional toll. They went through this not that long ago, just a couple of months ago, and then last year. Some of these families just rebuild what they lost and now being in here, maybe lose it all over again, he said. This one here's got me a little bit more nervous than the others. I mean, for the extent of how wide and vast it is. I mean, it's not a little small storm like the others we've had here recently. It's like it's like a bad dream over and over. It's like as soon as you get cleaned up for one storm, six months later you're getting hit again, or eight months later you're getting hit again. So it's constantly picking up tree limbs and just it's stressful. But you know, as long as the insurance rates don't keep going up, I'll be all right. Huh? You just gotta survive, push through it. Just talking to our regulars, right? People we see here every day, um, you kind of feel for them. It's our community, but having a you know, they went through this not that long ago, just a couple months ago, and then last year, um, maybe a little overwhelmed. You know, some of these families just rebuild what they lost and now being in fear of maybe losing it all over again, right? So it, it can be an overwhelming feeling for a lot of them.